while you open my camera. I'm sorry, guys. I started talking before the thing came off because old Julio over here is all over my business like this. Like, what's up? <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> here's Julio. All right. Listen, so we got something kind of cool to show you right now. Um, uh, let me show you this real quick. I'm going to show you what Julio has done. <laughs> Power line. Power line FPV. Never fails. All right. So here we go. So I'm going to show you the computer screen here. Uh, let me do a picture in picture real quick. So, where the hell am I going here? All right, this is the computer. Okay. Uh, we'll do it like this. Boom. All right, so what you're looking at is the microscope right now. We're on the Windows PC. And what you can see here is this is the Windbond chip. This is your um, uh, black box chip, right, that's on the, um, on the flight controller, right? So this is the HDRC flight controller. Now, I'm going to plug this in, okay? And you'll see everything line up pretty. Now it's going to be kind of upside down here, but there's still that wind bond right there, okay? So as I minimize this, well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to here and I'm going to connect. Oh, and now it popped up. No, no, it's not supposed to. Hold on. Oh, darn it. Bad fucking board. All right. I'm going to try to show you what the problem is that we were having. Now, I'm, mm, of course, now I'm not going to have this problem. This would be my luck. Um... Now it's showing up. Of course. Of course now. Okay, we're going to work on this. We're going to try to mess this up. So hold on. Let me, let me get this off the table and let's figure out why is it. Because the point being is, is that the black box data was, the black box wasn't being able to be recorded. wasn't even being found anymore. All right, so uh, let's put my pretty face back up here. Let's see what we can do. Now it's going to keep coming up. No, nope, now it's gone. Okay, yes. Now we could screw this up. Oh, I got to move my face though. So here, let me, let me, uh, let me go over here. Awesome. Right now you can see where the black box, you see that right there? This area right here, no data flash chip found, right? That's because that wind bond chip, which I am now taking it off the damn screen. So let me put the microscope back. One second, please. That's because the chip, which you will see, where the hell did it go? Right here, uh, right there. That's because this chip, the something on the soldering of this chip is not right. And so it's losing connection. And this is what Julio is experiencing. So he's like, hey man, look, I'm in beta flight and my black box is disappearing. It doesn't show up anymore. I'm like, okay, it probably needs to be uh, reworked. Now rework would be to just take a hot, um, like a hot, uh, what is it, the air dryer, the air thing for reworking the solder, hold it over there. And what it'll do is it'll melt the solder. But I don't have time for that. All right, because that just takes too long. And you can also heat up all the other chips that you don't want to heat. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually spot weld this real quick, spot weld this, spot solder real quick. Um, and so let me put this back on the screen so you can see it. Right there. Nope, not right there. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to unplug the um, USB real quickly. And I am going to get the flux pen and get that on this chip and just make it look all kinds of nasty right there. And I have a very, very, very fine point soldering iron. And I'm going to crank the temperature up pretty high because I don't want to hold it. But look, this is super, it gets really pointy. Uh, it, it's like uh, it hurts all right if you poke your skin with it even if it's not hot obviously all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna touch each one of these solder points I'm gonna put my Magoo glasses on because I can't see so let's put these on real quick all right and here we go all right so you want to spot touch each one of them one two three four turn it around because I'm right-handed and we're going to do it again. One. Two. Three. Four. I think that's okay. I didn't put any more solder on there. I was really wanting to work with what, was, what came on it. So, with that being said, now we're going to go ahead and switch back to Betaflight. And we're going to plug in the board now. And we're going to see if it took. Now, if not, I may have to put some solder on there, but I'm hoping that it will just take as it is. So let's see what we got. As soon as this thing finds the COM port, we're going to connect, and there it is right there. Okay, now, to repeat, because it was coming up initially, is I'm just going to wiggle the chip around here and see if I can get it to not pop up anymore. So I'm just going to try to pull it from the bottom just a little bit. All right, now let's plug it back in, and we're going to see. And if this works, guys, I mean, which it will work, but, I mean, it's one of those things where... You can, and there you go. All right, so the black box chip, that's all it was, right? So again, if you wanted to look at this, uh, what you would do is uh, you would find the chip, and it's gonna be the one that's labeled Windbond right here. 
Uh, let me angle that up a little bit. Oh, you know what? It's all covered in that stuff. No, let me see if I can wipe that. Give me one second. I need to unplug it, though. Okay, let's clean it off. Then as it dries, you'll see the name coming out here. So just give it a second. We'll let it dry, and you'll start seeing the... There you go. See how that, if I tilt that right, the light will hit it. And that's the wind bond chip, and that's what you want to look for. And then you basically just want to take your finest soldering tip, just go back and touch the four points on each side of this chip, and that should settle any problem you have. The way to test it, though, is if you want to know if it's a chip, just come on over there, and while you're plugging in the USB, presses, press down hard on that chip, because what that's going to do, it's going to force the chip back under the solder points. As you're pressing, plug in the USB. If you see that uh, black box come back up like it's working, that's your problem. You just need to rework it. Same thing applies towards any other chip on here, uh, especially like when you're talking about your um, OSD or your gyros, right? Is if you notice that you're having some weird stuff with those, then just go ahead and press on them, and then you can always just heat it up with the fan and rework it. Now, let me give you, I'm going to look here because I saw something kind of weird. Let me just see. Let me see. Okay, you see these two right here? Look. Oh, darn it. Let me get this angle so it'll look easier it's, it's easier to see let me see if i can focus this look at these two i gotta get that angle just right sorry i'm trying to maybe the bright the light's too bright let me see if i can dim that down those two you see these two right here look at these two chip or these two pins where the hell's my pointer uh bear with me a second guys is this one yeah i'll use this one check this out right here Look at these two. Now look at the rest of these. You see how there's solder there that's carrying all the way throughout the pad? Uh, I'll, I'll move it down and try to focus it a little bit. You see that? But look what happens when you get to the end. Look at these two. You see how they're exposed at the end there? So when you see something like that, there's a good chance that if you see this, you might have been having problems with your gyro or your OSD where it's appearing or it's not, depending on which chip it is. These are the things you want to check for, for consistency, all right? And that's when we talk about reworking it is, if you see that like some of these have solder all the way through, and then some of them, they appear to be kind of like this. I mean, you can look right here and you can see, you can see a difference between some of these, right? And so this is different than here, right? And that may be that there's less solder to hold that in place. And this is where things start getting loose. And if you angle it up, let's see it again. Let me focus real quick. You can, you can tell there's a difference here. Something's missing here. So when I look at this chip, I say, okay, if this customer is having problems with this, let me get back to the one that we have, I may go and say, okay, we need to rework this real quick because this could be a significant issue where the customer is not able to get the proper performance out of it. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and in this case, I will rework this. But there's you can even see without the microscope, if you were just look at this, you can see it's discolored. Like there's definitely a shine all the way through except for those last two pins. So I would go back and rework this. Let me see if I turn this light off. Maybe that'll help a little bit more. Yeah, you can definitely see now where there's like a glue and then where there's solder. And this should have definitely solder going all through it. So I would be concerned about something like this. So in this case, if I was trying to watch me screw this up now, I wasn't planning on this. So um, I'm probably going to screw this up. But if I do, oh, well, let's just see. After that UFL solder onto the Vista, I think I'm fine. All right, here we go. So let's see if we can make this look better, all right? I'm gonna put the Super Magoo glasses on because I need five times, because this should not gonna help and I can't see anything like this. All right, going into Super super Magoo mode, here we go. Oh my God, I can see tomorrow in these things. All right, so I'm gonna put the flux on there. I'm gonna come in with my super hot, trusty soldering iron, and I'm gonna burn the hell out of myself trying to do this. It's hard to do when you have the magnifying glass or the microscope for everybody else to see because it just makes it more difficult. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I got anything better out of that. Well, I'd probably have to add some solder here. And I could see on this side too. There's something missing on this side. I mean, looking under these, under these with this mic, uh, magnifier, I can see some areas that are missing. Uh, let me see if I can get at it, maybe sideways here. That's not fun.
All right, real quick, we'll try this, and this is where I usually get screwed up. I could use some solder paste, actually. That would probably be better, but I just put a really, really, really small amount of solder right here. So let me make sure I can get this on the camera for you. I'm only going to do the first pin, though. And that pad is just completely missing. It looks like. I don't believe there's any more pad under there, to be honest with you. I think the pad was done short because I'm looking right now and I can't find anything else to solder it to. So hopefully that'll give us a good strong hold right there and make those pins. Uh, but there's really literally no more pad under there to solder to. So in this case, this is where you end up possibly with things that don't, that don't, you know, they don't last properly. Um, but in either case, the, the uh, OSD or the, um, sorry, the um, uh, black box. Now when we plug back in, we should see it, and I believe everything else, was there something else that wasn't functioning on here? The gyro. The gyro, okay. So, let me look at this real quick. Let's connect, there's our stuff, and then our gyro. Remember it was moving by itself? Yeah, 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 yeah. He did have movement on there by, yeah, that's right, I do remember. Let me see what we got now. playing with the gyro here. Let's see that real quickly. I'm going to keep rubbing this crap off of here because I'm going to show everybody. So once we clean this chip off, right? Leo, what are you put on this thing? Did you run it through a vat of super glue on the way out? No. <laughs> Because the pads are like they, some of them on the board, they just don't carry out all the way, and then you end up with the stuff like this. Okay. I'm gonna see what we're looking at here. What do we got here? So I'm going to come on this side here, right there. Thank you. You raise this up, get it to focus a little bit on, on that, on this. Get the gyro under here clean first. Okay. So I'm just going to clean all the chips so I can give you guys an example of what to look for. But I think we'll just go to the gyro and not mess with it. All right, so here's a gyro right here, right? So it's the MP6000 gyro, right? Let's clean that up a little bit. Should be able to read that if I can tilt it properly. Come on, you sucker. There we 
There it is. So you see MP6000 right there, right? So let's look around and see what do we got here. All right. So I'm going to plug in the USB. And I'm going to show you guys beta flight. And we're going to see. Here we go. Let me go back here real quick and make sure. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's see. Okay, so uh, now it's flying like Julio, upside down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, All right, Julio, I want you to watch it now. I'm pressing on the. I'm pressing on it, right? It hasn't moved yet. You good? Mm -hmm. Now if I move my finger. But right now, it stopped ticking. Now if I let go, I don't know, now that I've pressed on it, it probably won't move. Oh, there it goes. You see it ticking? It just moved to the left. Now it's moving everywhere. See it? Move. It's kind of, yeah, it's going to be small movements, but it's going to rotate on its own. There it goes, it's ticking to the left. Okay, and that's not moving on this end, that's moving when it sits still. But if I press on the gyro, it'll stay in position. So again, it may be something that we wanna rework. But here we go, so what I'll do is, I'm not gonna rework it right now, because this is a very small chip and it takes a little bit more effort to do this one. But what I will do is, I'm gonna reset it, I'm gonna calibrate it. Okay, I'm gonna reset everything. Calibrate. Okay, that's fine, if it wants to say that it's right side up. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, yeah, let me do this real quick. Reset, calibrate. Now watch as it ticks to the right most likely now because it's done flipped, right? So it should tick to the right. Yep, there it goes. Okay, and watch, you'll see it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make its adjustments here. There it goes. It's already changed one degree on a heading. Come on, you little bastard. There you go. Okay. So now, when I, I'm going to press down on the chip, and I'm going to reset and calibrate. I'm trying to keep my finger still, but it's not, ah, this is it, right? I'm on the right spot, I think. Let me see if we can get it to not move. So when I was flying, get it full throttle, it uh, pull to the right. And that's what it's showing. Yeah. But it just depends. Like it depends on if it's staying, if it's staying down or not, right? So, and I still have a small tick on there. I can see it. I'm trying to hold it in place. The problem is my hands are now shaking. Let's just see. All right. Now with my both my hands on here pressing on that chip, it's done moving. Uh, we're at 199 degrees. Oh, sorry, my fan just moved. But at 100, okay, 200 degrees, let's see if I can just hold my breath for like 10 seconds. <clears throat> All right, so we would probably, I would say we would rework this as well. Um, and I mean, that's just, that's just a little mess up on it, but I think it's a gyro being reworked. I think this board has a few little areas that need to be re reworked. Did you have any problems with your OSD? No. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there's your tick to the left. Let me do this real quick. I'm just curious. This is such a tiny thing to solder though. This is where I screw up everything. So if I screw this up too bad, I'm not taking all the precautions because I know that it's gonna be on the microscope, so it's harder for me to do this, but let's just see. And like I said, you could easily just take a, um, a um, heater to it. Uh, I don't have it on the camera, I just realized. All right, let's see if I can do this. But again, don't get mad if you can't see it properly because it's not easy. Get into this here. Let me just see.
I don't even know if I can get all that because it looks like right here there's some really screwed up stuff right here, but I don't know. Let's see, those just don't look as clear as all the other pins. So something about this area here that bothers me, but all right, let's just see. I don't know if that's going to even be able to be something I can do or not. Here goes. All right, off with the magoos. Are you getting your stuff? Is it done? No. Nope. You waiting on me? Oh, don't you blame me. I know what's coming. I know what's going to happen. All right, here goes. Let's see what we got. Let's reset. Hey, look. It's after I went over it. Look at that. It stayed. Has not moved a degree on heading. Oh. I mean that's a substantial difference don't you think or no from when it when, when we started yeah. yeah so all right so let me just let me clear this now stupid I want to um, tape this down real quick like if it's fast and yeah, you got me all kind of trying to prove quantum physics here just kidding. What are you doing? Uh, solder pin. Or, uh, flux? Flux. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so I think part of this is going to be, I want to go ahead and tape this down now because the USB cable here, the way I'm doing this is letting it go. So I'm going to tape it down. And now I'm going to calibrate it and restart it. We're going to see if it moves. Okay, I'm gonna go back and check the solder pin on this real quick. You totally got me deviating from what I was supposed to be doing today, by the way. I just want you to know that. God darn it. You're welcome. My wife's gonna kick my butt when she gets in here. Yeah, hopefully I'm going by saying Yeah, uh -huh. I see you running like a little girl. Get your butt back in here. We'll go down as a team on this thing, man. If I get in trouble, you get in trouble. Now I'm gonna get into this thing. I may have to move the I may have to move the microscope, but let me see. Let me just see if I can do this with it again. And if not, I have to move it. So if I do, I apologize guys, but I need to be able to see what I'm doing here a little bit better. see where I stand with this now.
Hey, stop moving the table. One second. Everything you lean into over your freaking Shrek, you move and everything. God darn. I mean, he's like 6'10". Hey, look, 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 look. Look, don't touch the table, though. Seriously, look. Look at it now. We've got to rework it. And now it's sitting pretty. Zero, zero, zero. Everything's sitting calm. Until he goes and hits the table. Move the table a little bit. Move the table. Yeah, you see? You see? Stop. But anyways, so there you go. So it's good. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it just takes a little bit of work. Um, but these are the kind of things uh, that, that help. I mean, that has, look, all those zeros are... Uh, uh, that's okay. You touch the table. So. Touch you touch the table, so it's allowed. But you sit sitting here. Sit. Yeah. All right. But it did say, it did stay it did stay uh, stays at zero, uh, and it was working out pretty good. Um, and there you go. So that helps. Okay, guys. So there's little things like that. Now, I, you know, I mean, it doesn't mean that's going to fix it every time, but it does uh, work sometimes there if you want to rework your stuff. Okay. All right. So that was a completely unplanned um, thing. Thanks to Julio for bringing problems to my desk. Powerline FPV is uh, currently working on his own crap. Look, look, there he is. How's it going, guys? What's up? Anyway, we're flying this weekend, right? Yep. We're going to break. Manana. We are going to break shit this weekend. <laughs> hey, uh, any bets on who crashes first? You. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, it's been fun. Uh, we'll put some more stuff up here. Hopefully that helps some of you out. Um, some of you, you know, if you want to do it, if you need help with it, let me know. Uh, otherwise, take care. God bless. Be safe. Uh, and make sure to spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it, okay? There's always time to fly later. Talk to you soon, guys. Peace!